What's going on guys? Kevin Fox here from Fox Fishing 4K. So today we are out on Lake Simcoe and we are targeting different species today. We're not going for Lakers, we're not going for whitefish, we're not going for perch. We are going for some burbs. Look the colors on that. While Tom was fishing here, I was kind of running and gunning, checking another couple spots. There wasn't too much there, so then I popped over back here. I just got set up, so hopefully I can get into one too. And uh, yeah, let's get at it. One away. What's one that? away from saying I can get four in a couple hours. Yeah, yeah, one away. yeah. Well, let's see, let's see. What time have we got here? It is 20 to five. So we'll see if you can get another one in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So right on, right on. The thing is, a lot of people out on Simcoe, they get these by bycatch. They're not really targeting burbot. Uh, we've had even people say to us, you can't target burbot on Lake Simcoe. Well, today Tom is going to prove that you can. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Number four. Actually, what time is it? I forgot to count the last one. It's 10 after five. So you got two in that 20 something minute. Yeah. This is just a little guy. So strong. All right, Tom, explain to everybody what you're willing to share here if someone else wanted to go out and target a burbot. I know you don't want to give all the juice away, but what are you willing to share with the people out there? The basic setup, like, I'm just basically using a minnow with a buckshot, and I just tip it. Just one minnow. These are like <clears throat> some old minnows I had, but <clears throat> they end up working. And then, uh, all I'm basically looking for is like a really sandy bottom. Like a lot of these burbot, uh, when they spawn, they're gonna get up on like these little shale spots, but the spawns already happened. So they just pushed back and I'm just finding bowls with like really hard sand bottom. And I'm not getting a lot of fish, but the ones I'm marking, they're almost all burbot. So instead of coming out here and just targeting strictly white fish, I'm just coming out here and targeting strictly burbot. And we've only been out for a couple hours and I've already iced four and lost two. I think it was because my lure was boxed. I got hit good, but like I say, I'm just taking like just random chunk of minnow. They're not the greatest, but whatever, it's working. And I just tried to work these fish slow. So uh, I haven't barely marked any whitefish. All I've marked is burbot, but a lot of people don't come out here and just strictly target burbot. And once you target a species and you start bouncing around, you'll end up finding a lot of them. Simcoe's got a ton of burbot and this is like in the middle of the daytime. And then we also fish them at nighttime and which is a little bit of a different bite, but even still, when you can come out here and hook what people call your bycatch or your random catch and you're actually targeting them and doing well, then this is great. That? He did it. He did it. He, he did it. Yeah, buddy. Four. Yeah, That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, I should go. I've been standing here talking to Tom, and uh, that's why he actually, well, he hooked up with that fish. I've been talking to him the whole time, so I should actually go check my line, put it in the water, and get going, and hopefully I can hook one here, too. That is sick. It's so sick. It's so sick. Well, she's starting to get dark out here. 
we got a bit of a ride to get back home, so we're probably gonna pack her in. Uh, Tom ended up with four burbot, lost two. Um, I marked a couple, I couldn't get them to commit. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick another day. We're gonna come out here for the full day and really do a smackdown on the burbot and really uh, basically explain everything that we're doing. Hopefully uh, Tom will let me say some more information or he's able to share a little bit more than he did today. But stay tuned for the next episode. Should be a good one. See you guys later. Bye-bye.